All right. Well, I filled up my measly memory card. I suppose the next thing that will happen is the batteries will die. Anyway, um, where was I? Oh, I had a, a nut that had fallen out here. So, Oh, I did go in the house to uh, empty out the memory card, and here's the other version of this that I printed. It's just a little bit slimmer, not quite as wide. It gives us a little more clearance for whatever we want to do underneath. Um, but it's just as solid. It's a real solid part. It's even got a cute little curve in it, just like this one does. Um, I'd put that on there, but it would just take more time, so we'll stick with this one for now. Alright, I think I got the nut in place. Yeah. Now I put little loops on my tie downs just for giggles. So I could loop back the excess belt. I don't know. I think it's kind of a nice touch. Oh, you may have noticed I've got a slightly different version of this uh, swing arm on the adjustable idler there. Um, I just remodeled it for uh, the 605 ZZs because I think we're switching to those because they match the uh, new small, smaller pulleys. It's a little slimmer. I also uh, strengthened up the base and of both the mount and the swivel part. And that piece is available on Thingiverse. Thunder, of course, simonious in this case. This is actually the first time I've assembled one of these using this belt mount. In the past, I had this little thing, which the belt would feed in. There's a little spike in the middle that forces the belt up the middle, and then you zip tied it. Works just as well, but the side of the bolts were a little classier. On the other hand, it's more hardware. Of course, the upside is you don't uh, waste a zip tie every time you decide to rearrange things. I think I went through probably a dozen zip ties trying different things out when I was using that one. Alright, and that tucks back through just like the other one did. At least that's the theory. There it goes. Oh, I didn't get them even. Oh, my belt's a little floppy. Well, happens to everybody now and then. Let's see. Yeah, I could probably take it up with the uh, adjustable idler, but I would like to take a little bit more up here, I think. It feels a little better. I think the neighbors are launching fireworks left over from the fourth.
Alright, well, that's not bad. I think the new version is good. I'm going to like the alignment a little better. It's not quite perfect there. Pretty close. And this thing's got good range of motion. It'll go way past the center line. Yeah, it sounded like a firework or something. Maybe a cannon. So there you go. That's what I've got for a new uh, Y setup. Talk to you all soon.